opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. The closed Sicilian controls d5 with the knight and aims for slower development without an immediate d4 push. This prepares the bishop for development. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This prepares the bishop for development. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. It is the last book move. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to kick a knight. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to kick a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is excellent. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. Black was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. White was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Black was better off, but now their position is winning. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. That's fine. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This threatens to capture a trapped bishop. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. 
Black pounced on their opportunities in the opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. 